What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D-Rip. Hey, today we got another special video. Today we're going to be writing to 13 wrestlers who missed their cue. Missing your cue and like a match is very like, it can literally change the entire match. Somebody missing like, you know, breaking up a pin or breaking up a submission or somebody on the mic. And they're supposed to come out as like a, kind of like a run-in or something. You know, it, it's a bunch of different ways you can miss a cue. So we're going to figure out what they are here in this in this video. First song, Chrome Girls channel, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Make sure y'all subscribe because we almost at 4K and I won't be able to hit 4K without y'all. So make sure y'all go ahead and continue to subscribe. I appreciate all y'all, man. Without y'all, I wouldn't be here. So I appreciate all y'all. So continue to subscribe. I got a lot of videos on this channel. So if you like this one, I'm sure you're going to like another one because I got a lot. But hey, man, without further ado, let's get into this video. Once got mad at John Cena on live TV. After defeating Jared's show in the main event of Raw, Triple H talked to his tag team partner about Sean's obsession with The Undertaker. Before the game could say much, John Cena was supposed to interrupt and cut off the conversation. However, Cena missed his cue. It's not gonna work out going after the championship, Sean. There was no reason for Triple H to stop talking, so he and Sean had to stand there silently while they waited for John Cena to come out. You can tell how mad Shawn Michaels was for the delay. However, Kane ended up getting embarrassed because of this mistake. After getting attacked by the NW- That's so deep. That was kind of awkward no though. Hold on. For his music was supposed to hit. But but that's not his that's not his fault necessarily. I mean, it could have been the production's fault. It could have been whoever's in charge of the music. Could have been their fault. They ain't hit the music in time, and John just sitting there. I mean, it could have been anybody's fault. You can't just blame John. I mean, unless he had to go to the bathroom or something. I mean, you can't blame John. There was no reason for Triple H to stop talking, so he and Sean had to stand there silently while they waited for John Cena to come out. You can tell how mad Shawn Michaels was for the delay. However, Kane ended up getting embarrassed because of this mistake. After getting attacked by the NWO and getting saved by Bradshaw, Kane was ready for his signature pyroblast, but I guess the Big Red Machine's supernatural powers had a slow internet connection. Who had chosen that discretion is a better part of Valor here? Shaw embarrassed and beat up earlier tonight. Because this next- That would've, man. That would've made me so mad, bruh. Out of my bro, don't even don't even worry about the fire no more. That was so late. Who have chosen that discretion is a better part of Valor here. John Barrett. They shouldn't even just they shouldn't even did the fire. Next person that missed their cue. An F bomb got dropped on WWE TV. In 2001, The Rock was laying the verbal smackdown on Stephanie McMahon, Booker T, and Rhino. Steph was supposed to cut off the great one before he could go rated R, but she was a bit too slow. Booker T and Shane! The punk ass sucker and the silver spoon, mother. Even though it was Stephanie who messed up, Vince McMahon got mad at The Rock because he said the F word so enthusiastically. Randy Orton's reaction to this miscue is priceless. During a special episode of Raw that aired for Madison Square Garden, Roddy Piper was the guest host. During the show, Piper got attacked by Randy Orton. The Viper set up for the punt kick and was supposed to be stopped by Kofi Kingston. However, Kofi was a bit late, resulting in this. Stupid! Now, was this next moment an accident? Bro, that's so awkward. Or was WWE just trying to mess with Bret Hart? During one of John Cena's US Open Challenge matches, Cena kicked things off like normal, but it was Bret Hart who answered the call. Actually, Hart was just there to introduce the real challenger, Sami Zayn. However, before all that, Heath Slater came out and tried to take the title match for himself. However, Heath was late, leading to an awkward moment for the hitman. I'm here to introduce a great wrestler. Now this screw up was so bad that it actually got someone fired. Back in 2008, Mark Henry and Matt Hardy took on The Miz and John Morrison. Hardy hit a side effect and went for the pin. The Miz was supposed to break up the pin, but missed his cue. WWE referees are supposed to keep counting, even if a match is meant to go on longer. This is to avoid WWE matches looking fake. The what Miz is that? Chris Adams did just that, and the match ended earlier than it was meant to. Despite doing exactly what he was supposed to, Wes Adams was fired soon after and never given another chance. Backstage, Adams was told his officiating ruined the match. A man lost his livelihood due to the Miz missing his cue. That's so deep. He did hit the mat three times though. Hold on. One. Hold on, hold on. He did count three times though. One, two, three. Despite doing exactly what he was supposed to. Bro, the referees do that all the time though. 
<laughs> referees, I see referees do that all the time. Wes Adams was fired soon after and never given another chance. Backstage, Adams was told his officiating rule. I literally see people do that the all the time. His livelihood due to the Miz missing his cue. Usually, issues happen when a wrestler is late, but The Undertaker was actually too early. In 2011, after weeks of buildup and countdowns, the dead man made his return. However, he was a bit too excited and actually came out before his entrance music started playing. Playing. If you watch The Undertaker's return on the WWE Network, you can see how it was actually supposed to go. At SummerSlam 1997, Triple H was accompanied hey. by China for a steel cage match against Mankind. The ending of the match involved China getting in the cage and helping Triple H escape. However, China accidentally came in too early and had to leave awkwardly without doing anything. Once fans saw how the match ended, it was clear that the ninth wonder of the world had made a mistake. Now, with all the incidents we talked about, man, this is making this video is making me mad, bro. Like this video honestly is making me mad, bro, because, bro. At least the person eventually did what they were supposed to do. This next wrestler completely no-showed their big moment. At Survivor Series 1998, Mankind and Stone Cold were having a match. Big Boss Man was meant to come out and attack Stone Cold with a chair. However, Boss Man missed his cue, so Sergeant Slaughter and Gerald Briscoe had to spring into action, leading to one of the worst looking chair shots in wrestling history. Even worse was that Mankind pinned Stone Cold immediately after the weak attack. On the Raw after the 2019 Royal Rumble, Ronda Rousey came out to celebrate okay. her victory over Sasha Banks. Bailey was meant to cut Rousey off, but was late with her cue, leading to a long, awkward pause for Ronda. Imagine messing up so badly that you create a meme. That's what happened when Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero faced off at SummerSlam 2005. Yeah. Rey and Eddie were fighting over the over, custody over Dominic. in a ladder yeah. match, and Vicky Guerrero was supposed to interfere. Yeah, she was Rey. late. She was late, and then Eddie got mad. Win. However, when the time came for Vicky's spot, she was nowhere to be seen. Rey and Eddie had to improvise. Now, to Vicky's defense, she later said she was told to wait until Mysterio was out of the way to push the ladder. Clearly, that didn't get communicated to Rey or Eddie. On Saturday night's main event in 1989, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man took on the Twin Towers. During the match, Miss Elizabeth Bruh, got hurt, on, causing bro. Hogan to take- This man Hulk Hogan gotta be like completely bald, cause like, he gotta be like completely bald. No way he's still rocking a George Jefferson, bro. Cause every time he be on TV, he got he got hair back here, but I know it's fake. Obviously it's fake, cause it look the same every time, and it be moving like it's fake. But, I wanna see him like actually bald-headed, like bald-headed, bald-headed, like. Michael Jordan ball headed. Like I want to see him all the way ball headed. Like I want to just see. Right, he had to join Jefferson forever, bro. Her backstage and get help. This led to the famous implosion of Hogan and Savage when the Macho Man attacked Hulk. Brutus Beefcake got involved, but accidentally entered the shot too early and had to walk away. To avoid ruining the moment, Brutus Beefcake took off his shirt, so it looked like two different people. Imagine that you mess up so hard that you alter history. That's what happened at WrestleMania 8. Hulk Hogan took on Sid Justice in the main event. Up to this point, nobody in WWE had kicked out of Hogan's finisher, the leg drop, and it was supposed to stay that way. After hitting Sid with the finishing move, Papa Shango was meant to run in and break up the pin, causing a disqualification. However, Shango missed his cue, so Sid Justice had to kick out and become the first person in WWE to do so. However, Sid was not the first person to kick out of the leg drop, and Kane was not the first person oh my gosh. of the Tombstone Piledriver. To find out who really kicked out of those finishers first, watch this video. Oh, thank you. With a chair. If you got any other videos on Minerac in particular, let me know down below in the comments, and your boy will check them out. Let me know down below. I do read the comments. So continue to like these videos. Subscribe. Oh, man. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy D-Rip, man. I'm out.